It's interesting you say that birds know, isn't it? And the following as well. I mean, although we kind of have this fine line between not wanting to domesticate them as such, but also we want them to know that a garden's a safe space and a, a reliable space for food as well. But they obviously do know. I mean, in my garden, I, I think that birds definitely do know when we're when, when we are about to head out and fill the feeder. I can hear it. You can hear it really straight away. But they also do seem to know the difference between seeds as well in terms of variety. Could you talk us a little bit about that? I mean, just because it strikes me that you, you're you in a perfect position really to kind of try and help and inspire and give a few words of advice for people who are maybe just starting on this journey of finding out what birds know and so on. Yeah, of course, Simon. I mean, I feed a variety of food. I'm conscious of the fact that I don't want to attract rats to the garden. So majority of the food is in a feeder of some sort. Uh, so it might be a peanut mesh peanut feeder, a suet square in a little cage, um, wire cage, traditional ported seed feeders. But then I do scatter some seed um, and I do scatter mealworms. Mealworms, the starlings know where they can come down for that. They've got some in a, in a tray. I found they made too much mess with a with a feeder. So they have the variety of food. So there's always something there 